got the moly. Just woke up. And um, we're gonna do some slicing. We're gonna do some dicing. And stay tuned. Get fired up. And we're clean as a whistle. And we're about to get to cutting. I wanna give a quick disclaimer by saying that I'm not a professional barber. Don't have my barber's license. Never been trained by any barber. I'm not your financial advisor and this is not medical advice. So, this is for entertainment purposes only. Don't cut yourself. What we're using today is the wall clipper that I got from good old Amazon for about 30 bucks. Okay, so step one, make sure you're nice and clean. I think this is a um, good rule of thumb. You give yourself your initial guard lines. So, here we go. see we got our lines from using a one right here now we have a two I believe not really sure remember not a barber but uh, for reference sake it says one-fourth and the first clipper we used said one-eighth so we're gonna simply use this line we use go a little bit higher so here we go. Alrighty. So after you've got your second line, so now what I'm gonna do is do a mullet type motion. Smooth like butter. And um, then we'll clean it up. Simple as that. So we just finished up the wave-like combing, combing motion. And we are scooting and booting right along to use what's called the taper attachments. about these is as you can see they're tapered so the places that you want shorter you utilize this side the places that you want to go longer have closer to this side pop these bad boys on and with these you want to start at the back of the head and then start combing her over so Now we're gonna wrap it up by cleaning it up 
I'm using no guard here. And what I'm going to do is simply square up a little bit, tighten things up in places where I can still see that the line is relevant. I will not push all the way down, but slightly even it out. Because that's what these are great for. So, here we go. discover that you got more work to do. We are going to proceed to the blending so that we get a nice smooth transition. You know, one thing that's important when you're doing the blending is to do a scooping like motion. Um, make sure you scoop it if you want a good uh, blend. So, back to it. a finished product ladies and gents is it perfect no was it fun yes so guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you're out there trying to cut your own mullet my best advice is be safe visualize and have some fun with it because life's too short not to have a little bit of fun as I Stated at the beginning of the video, I'm not a professional barber, but I am a guy who loves having a mullet. John Samos, coming for you, Chief. If you enjoyed this video, kindly show some love in the comments below. What do you think of the mullet? Have you ever cut your own mullet? And um, if you got a good mullet, send me a picture of it. Would love to see it. Till next time. Much love. Thank you.